Welcome back to another video. Today I will be going over how to create a lovely welcome system to the server. Now, because I don't really want to go into how to make a database yet, I'm just going to start with the basics of how to make a basic welcome message that says welcome to the server and you can give the user a role. Pretty simple, straightforward. Now that we have this amazing event and command handler, if you haven't already watched the past episodes of the series, please make sure to check the description for a link to the series. It's a nice playlist on YouTube, or at the end of the video, there will be a link to the playlist as well, and also the next episode. It is really hard to pick up from wherever I started or left off because I'm always changing a bunch of stuff, and it's really it's best to just go through all the episodes, even if it gets a bit tedious. You really should. I'd really recommend it, and I'd appreciate it as well. Uh, anyways. These are the intents that I need you to add to start with. Add the guild members intent, the message content intent, and the guild messages intent. Also while you do that, make sure that you have the presence intent, the server members intent, and the message content intent enabled here. These three bottom check mark slider style type things. I don't know what to call them. Make sure you have all those enabled. Then you can go back into your bot and we're going to make a new event this event is called guild member add dot js of course because it's javascript now similar to the previous ones like ready and interaction create we're going to export it so module dot exports and wow. Autocomplete is amazing and horrible at the same time. Also, gotta change this over until I figure it out. Let me know if you know because I can't remember. <laughs> uh, name is guild. What on earth? Name. Name guild member add asynchronous execute and we're going to get the member because when the member is added obviously it's going to give us the member object so we know what to do with that and as you can see similar to ready.js we have all this same stuff you set the name you set all that other stuff There we go. Anyway, now that we have the member, we're gonna start with the welcome role. The welcome role is equal to, make sure we await this so we can wait for the response from Discord. And this fancy stuff is on the member object. There's a guild. Because this is a member and a user are completely separate things. I want to explain that and clarify that right now. A member is part of a guild. They are the version of that user, but on that guild specifically. So they have roles, they have messages, they have all that other stuff. And a user is the Discord user. Like when they make an account, they have a user. Simple. When they join a server or a guild, they're a member or a guild member. I like to call them members and users not guild members and users, just member. Simple, straightforward. Now this member is part of a guild. We can fetch that guild off of the member, and then we get the list of all the roles on this guild. And the cache is like a list of all the roles, and then we're gonna find it. The way we're gonna find it is we're gonna use a method that searches for the role that has the name member. You could also just find it by the ID if you'd like and replace this whole thing with the ID, but instead we're gonna find the one that's specifically with the name, or you could do guild.roles.get and then the ID, I think, right? Yeah, or you could just change this to ID and specify the ID. But since this is a one guild thing and it's only for my guild, I am going to do it this way. Now what we're gonna do is await member 
dot roles dot add welcome role and now we're going to add the welcome role that we just got onto the members list of roles member dot roles dot add welcome role and so make sure you create a role server settings roles and then you're going to create a role you're going to name it member and then you can do whatever else you want with it this is just an example obviously and now what else are we going to do we're going to do const welcome channel equals await member dot guild dot channels dot cache again dot find and we're going to find it with the channel object channel dot name equals welcome so very similar to that one but the difference is we need to do welcome channel dot fetch and this is going to get the actual channel itself think of it as you know what channel it is so in here you know it's a certain channel right now here we're getting that channel we're opening it if that makes sense now we can do welcome channel dot send and you can do whatever message you'd like i'm just going to do back ticks welcome to the server and then we're going to put member dot user and now whenever somebody joins let me go do that real quick for you so i can show you an example i'm just going to kick out my alt we have a welcome channel set up by the way make sure you name the channel whatever you set the name to be in the code or again you can set the id specifically if you'd like that's all up to you i'm going to switch over to my alt i'm going to go into the dms join the server again there we go and i got pinged here welcome to the server at oi there fool simple enough right Oh, I didn't even publish the changes, did I? <laughs> Maybe I should do that, make sure it works. Because I was using an older version of it. Let me let me just double check. Anyway, it should add the role to me, which will give me a golden name at the same time. Right here. Look at that. Welcome to the server. I get the nice welcome role, the member, and I'm good to go. <laughs> and of course, this is still there. Anyway. That has been how to set up a welcome system and a welcome role. Please make sure to leave any suggestions you might have for me in the comments so that I can make what you guys want to see instead of just making based on what I've done in the past or what I think would be good for a basic bot. And see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, website with code for all the videos is now in the description. So. It's great. You can go on there. You can look at the code snippet slash video section. And what that has is it has old videos and it has code snippets underneath. So it helps you compare your code. It doesn't have the code word for word as you go further into the series, but it definitely does have a good starting point and you can compare the core concepts to make sure you have exactly the right wording as sometimes case sensitive stuff is a real big, big pain in the butt for starting out. I have this as an option. So make sure to check that out, like and subscribe for more, and see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.